So, in this video, I'm going to be giving you a quick overview of how to use Snagit 13. So, first, I'm going to explain how to start recording. So, in the search bar, I'm going to type Snagit. Snagit. And I have Snagit 12 and Snagit 13. 13 is obviously the more up to date one, so I'm going to give a walkthrough of that. So, when I click it, this is the window that pops up. I can go File, Edit, View, Help. I have three options. I can have presets and I can clutch capture. So I just wanted to say that to record this video, I'm actually using the Camtasia screen recorder, which is down there in the right corner, because I want to use that so I could actually show you how Snagit works. Now, when I do my Camtasia walkthrough, I'm going to use Snagit so I can explain how Camtasia works. And so now I'm going to show you by capturing. So immediately this screen pops up. I can drag, I can select a region, and then I cl click image or video. I'm not going to show, I'm not going to click video because that's going to interfere with the Camtasia editing. However, I can click image. So I took an image of what I had been outlining, and that. And that shows me, and, and that is basically how you take an image with Snagit. You can make it smaller and crop it. You can make it bigger again. However, you can add arrows. There are, There's many different things you can do with Snagit. So you can edit your image. As you can see, as you see, can see I have a lot of recordings. And when you're done, you can copy it onto your clipboard or you can share it and I can share this to my Google Drive I click that and I get the file name I'm already signed in if you're if you're using Snagit for the first time you need to sign in and I upload and the image would upload to my Google Drive and that's how simple Snagit is you want to share a quick image with your friends or your teacher you can just snag it and upload to Google Drive same goes with a video um, first, I tried making a Snagit trial with a video, and this is how it turned out. So if I want to want to upload this to YouTube, I could share and upload it to YouTube. And I could, if I want to do that, I click that, I can enter the file main description, I can enter in all the details here, and I upload, and then I can go whatever I, games I want while the video uploads and it's going to process automatically and that's how easy Snagit is and now I'm going to explain the actual application for Snagit so I, I would say that Snagit is not really an app that you use for a specific purpose like it's not like RoboCompass which you can pretty much always use for math it's more like a tool so say I'm going to use the example with Scratch so say I, I was doing a French camp project and I have a scratch presentation in animation and by the way I have made a tutorial for scratch so you can check out the other videos on this channel there's a scratch tutorial so say I'm making a French camp project and I'm done the animation however um, I wanted to I want to present the animation in a Google Slides. However, there's no option to upload a scratch animation. So I can go to scratch. I can I'm already logged in. I go to my files. I go to my camp project and I full screen let it load. I full screen, I go to Snagit, capture, capture the area, and it shows you exact zoom in if you want precision. I don't really need that right now. I get the bottom corner. I can click video, however, that's going to interfere with this video, so I'm not going to click video. But if I were to click video, it would start recording after a countdown of 3, 2, 1, it would start recording, much like how I'm recording right now. And and when I click when it's recording I click the green flag and my animation starts to work and it records all this and then I can upload that to YouTube like I showed you before from here 
And that's how simple it is to make a video with Snagit. And that's a simple walkthrough of Snagit. It covers everything you need for Snagit. And please like and subscribe. And I'll, more videos will be following up.